Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad project. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we're going to check out an amazing project by the drummer Camilio. It is an awesome bowling game and pin setter. It is set to copy and tinker. Friends, it should be showing up on the HLMT23 tag. There will be a link in the description to this video. Of course, it is set to copy and tinker, so don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give it a reaction before you copy and tinker. Make sure you are patient as it loads because it is pretty complex. And as you can see, it is pretty amazing. We have got a bowling game, which of course we can play in SimLab, and also the entire apparatus that would be used for pin setting. It uses a total of 40 shapes, and it's absolutely amazing. I do want to highlight that the pin setter is not functional, but the design is accurate. There you can see it is finally finished loading. Those red lines have went away. Now that it is fully loaded, check this out. Of course, it is a bowling game. We can move the ball left or right. You can also play with the materials. Right now, though, let's take it to SimLab and let's see how well we can bowl. Once again, when it loads, you do need to wait for the geometry to snap into place. That's what that orange was back there. I'm going to zoom out so I can see where the ball is. If we check the material, it is made of steel. If we check out the pins, they are made of plastic. Let's click play and see what it does. Right down the edge, it looks like I got three. That is pretty darn sweet. Friends, I'm going to reset that. Notice we do have to wait just a moment. And then we grab these two items, and I'm going to go one nudge to the right. Once again, let's hit play. Ooh, this time I got a couple in the back. Notice we can always pause, zoom in, find a different angle, and we can back up and re-watch that all happening. You can actually see the interaction of the pins. How cool is that? Let's make another adjustment once again. We can hit reset, and once it comes back, grab those two pieces. I'm going to go two nudges this time. Let's hit play and see how it does. <laughs> I am still stuck. I did get one more that time, but dug on it. Still not crushing it the way I want to. I'm going to challenge you guys to try and get a strike. Of course, I also want to let you know you can change materials. Instead of ice, I went to rubber. Of course, when we hit play, check out the results. Hey, not bad. Closer and closer to getting a strike. Of course, don't forget it is super fun to pause, back up, and check it out from other angles. Check it out. You can even zoom in and get angles like this. Let's hit play and watch that ball come rolling in and smash some pins. I do also want to remind your friends that if you do record a strike, you can always go over here to share. You can choose whichever style of video you want, wide or skinny. You can choose either the low quality or the high quality version, and you can create a video showing the world that you got a strike. Of course, friends, since this is set to copy and tinker, you can have an absolute blast making it more and more epic. I do also want to quickly highlight, you can now find the Tinkercad connectors right up here on this screen. There are three fun ones to play with, and then these are the different connectors. If you have not seen the connectors at all, don't forget to check out my Absolute Beginner videos. I'll make sure there's a link up here in the corner. Once again, friends, I want to say thanks again to Camilio for sharing this epic project and setting it to copy and tinker so we can have a blast with it. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to mention my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you look down in the corner, friends, of course, you will find the built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. At the top of the page, you can find a link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. 
finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a good